No matter what, in every single video I get, if it's not slime related, I will always see those comments to make another slime video. So here we are. And this is fixing store-bought slime. I've actually only done one of these. All slime that you buy in stores is manufactured and you can usually tell the difference even when it's really good and high quality. There's always a difference. I got different slimes. We got a variety. We got Compound King, we got Crazy Art, we have Nickelodeon, of course, and Zuru. I've actually never heard of this brand, but it looks like it's some kind of squishy with cotton candy slime in it. So it's not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just a little bit different, and we're gonna try to like see if we could turn it into the most homemade slime possible. Let's get straight to it. So let's get into this clear. This is by Compound Kings. It is a glow-in-the-dark slime. It's a bucket. Right off the bat, I have to say this is amazing. It's not gonna be as stretchy as homemade and naturally just because it's not homemade, but to be store-bought, it's really nice. It's thick. You could poke it. With homemade slime, it's usually just like endless stretches. Endless, endless, endless. You can stretch them as much as you want. Of course, with store-bought, after a couple stretches, it starts to toughen up a little bit. So that is what we're gonna do to this one. Again, there is nothing wrong with this slime. If anything, I think Compound Kings has amazing quality. But ugh, we wanna make this a little bit more homey feel, so we're gonna take some clear glue. I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this in on its own. It already looks stretchier. Wow, this feels so much better, so much better. Since it's glow in the dark, I thought it would be cool if I added a metallic pigment. I have this pearl pigment. It's literally just a magenta. <gasps> and you know, for a split second, I was like, why don't I do it like the Instagrammers do it and add a cool little, you know, teaspoon or something. And then I was like, eh, it's not that, it's not necessary. Wow. It's still stretchy despite how many times I've been stretching it and I think that clear glue uh, helped a lot. So now I'm actually just gonna let this sit for about a day and here are the clips of when it's ready. Okay, on to the next slime. This is Fluffy Layers by Compound Kings. Oh. Once you start warming it up, it starts stretching more, you see that? I do think that with a little bit of, you know, a mix of some homemade slime, they would feel really nice. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a little DIY clay slime moment, and I'm thinking of marbling these with a little bit of white clay and kind of being like, you know, like a little jawbreaker moment. I have some clear clay right here. This is clear. that, oh, oh! I have some um, white clay, clear, girl. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of bits here. All right guys, for the clay part, I think I'm just gonna mix them in. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna layer them in so that it still looks like candy and stuff, and then like the last one will be the jaw breaker on top. I made my jaw breaker. <laughs> you know what this looks like? It looks like one of those little clowns. Like when they pop out and they have their oh, little collar. Yeah, like if it had a face. She looks pretty cute overall. Should we just mix it up? Let's do it. Wow, how cute she is. It 
It's mixing beautifully. I'm gonna add some glycerin. Oop! I'm gonna add some glycerin because it's actually a little tough. It deactivates it a little bit, so that's what I'm looking for in this to soften it up. Wow, that worked so great. Look at this. It does spread and stuff, but it is on the thicker side. However, it is so nice. It's dense, it's thick, and it feels almost like sizzly. There's a little bit of sizzle to it, so it's really nice. I like this one a lot. All right, moving on, we got this. It's a cupcake slime by Nickelodeon. The packaging is there. I think it's adorable. It is scented, which is amazing. I believe it's a floam. It smells nice. This is literally scented. Like, I think it's like vanilla. It smells good. I gotta say right off the bat, this is very stretchy. Love the stretch. And I think I actually chose the perfect slime for slushy beads because it is on the stickier side, which is amazing. I feel like if I would've tried it on anything else, it would've just, the beads would've just fallen out. It's holding onto the beads so well. I am so impressed by this slime. Holy crap, they're staying in. This is insane. I didn't even have to add anything at all, like nothing. Even with the beads, like this is the perfect stretch. I am in shock. This is great. This is Crazy Slimy by Crazy Art. This is how it looks. This is actually amazing. This is a purple face. Okay, what I'm thinking of doing with this is, honestly, I don't feel like I need to fix it because if I think this is actually hands down the best one out of all these. I'm gonna actually try to turn this into a cloud slime. Since it's so good on its own, I'm like, hmm, what can we do? First of all, like, can it actually turn into cloud slime? Mixing stuff into store-bought slime is a little tricky, but I feel like what I'm feeling right now, texture-wise, it'll work. It's slowly gonna absorb the snow. Okay, it's absorbing it. Just not sure if it's absorbing it all the way. We're gonna make it more wet so that it could bind easier. Maybe this will work. Bam! Cause let's be real. We're gonna have to reconstruct this whole thing, girl. I think it was also the crazy art one last time that got ruined. <laughs> was it the crazy art one I ruined? Yeah. So it was the green one, huh? I did ruin the crazy art. I'm crazy art. I'm so sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, what am I doing? What is going on? My hands are disgusting right now. There's glue everywhere. Something's happening. The mixture is just gonna make it go much faster. Oh my god, it happened. It's like, I don't even know if I need more. I can't believe it worked.
After I let it sit, it's way easier to drizzle. Not bad for a store-bought slime. Oop. And that's it. There you have it, fixing store-bought slime. Trying to make it feel homemade. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that like button. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.